given what we know about diagonalization, we can see that the number of linearly independent eigenvectors is actually kind of an important thing. So let's, um, let's see how big these eigenspaces can be. Right? So if we have an eigenvalue lambda associated to a matrix A, it has some eigenspace associated to it. Um, to give it a name, let's call it E sub lambda of A. So this is the eigenspace for A associated to lambda. What we want to know is what are the possible values of the dimension of that space. Well, we know since it's an eigenspace, it has to be at least one dimensional, right? There has to be some non-zero eigenvector associated to lambda. Otherwise, lambda wouldn't be an eigenvalue. And since all of this is happening inside of Rn, we know that this has to be no bigger than n, right? Because the dimension of the subspace can't be bigger than the dimension of the space it's in. Um, but other than that, we don't really know. But let, let's see if we can figure out something a little more specific. Um, let's call this dimension uh, k, and let's write a basis v1 through vk for e sub lambda of a. Okay. Now, since these vectors are in this eigenspace, these are eigenvectors, right? So we have these k linearly independent eigenvectors for this eigenspace. Now we can extend this to a basis v1 up to vk, and then extend to vk plus 1 up to vn to a basis for all of Rn. Okay, so the first k vectors here are a basis for the eigenspace. And all of the vectors are a basis for Rn. Okay. Um, well, now we can, uh, what I'm going to do with this basis is use it to transform the matrix A into sort of a more convenient form. So to do that, right, once we have this vec this, um, these vectors, we can uh, form a matrix P out of these vectors. So v the columns of P are just going to be all of the Vs. And we'll let B be the matrix P inverse um, A times P. So A and B are similar here. Right? And that's going to, the reason that this is going to be nice is because since they're similar, we know that their characteristic polynomials are going to be the same, right? which is going to come in handy. So we have this matrix B. Let's see what B does to the standard basis. Actually, what we're going to do is just see uh, what does B do to this, not all of the standard basis vectors, but the standard basis vectors just up to K? Well, B is, B is P inverse times A times P times E sub I. So what's p times e sub i? Well, multiplying by e sub i just picks off the ith column here. So this is p inverse times a times v sub i. But remember, v sub i, when i is between 1 and k, we're talking about one of these basis vectors that are actually in this eigenspace. So v a times v sub i is the eigenvalue lambda times v sub i. But then we can move that. Now that lambda is a scalar, we can move it past p inverse. So lambda times p inverse times vi. And what is p inverse times vi? Well, remember, p times, v, p times ei is vi. So that means p inverse times vi has to be ei. So this whole thing is just lambda times ei. OK. Uh, now, this tells us partially what the matrix B is. So if we look at the matrix B, right, the first k columns, remember when you multiply a matrix by the standard basis vectors, 
the results are the columns, the corresponding columns of the matrix. Uh, so we've just found the first k columns. They're lambda times uh, the first k basis vectors. So that means that right, we end up with these lambdas down the uh, this first part of the diagonal. So this is the first m, uh, the, sorry, the first k columns of the matrix. And below we have zeros here. Now we still don't know what's in the upper right or the lower right portions of this matrix. Okay. But the key thing here is now when we find the characteristic polynomial, um, when we find the characteristic polynomial for this matrix, right, I, I can't use lambda for the variable because lambda shows up here, so I guess I'd better write it as um, x i minus b. So if you imagine calculating um, the characteristic polynomial here, because we have just zeros, and because this upper left portion is diagonal and this lower left portion is all zeros, when we do the determinant to calculate this characteristic polynomial, we're just going to get part of the determinant is going to be just the product of the diagonal entries down this upper left hand piece. So we're going to get a bunch of terms that look like x minus lambda, but how many of them will all be multiplied together? Well, there will be one for every place lambda shows up down here, but there's k of those. It's OK. Times some other polynomial here. So some other polynomial. Now this polynomial f, it might have more factors of x minus lambda, right? So, um, so it's possible that to write this as x minus lambda to some power m times some other polynomial, g of x, where m is bigger than k, right? There might be in this characteristic polynomial, there might be more factors of x minus lambda hiding uh, inside of f of x over here. So the way I've written it down here, I'm assuming that I've taken all of the factors of x minus lambda out of this other polynomial and I've put them all together here. Right? So, um, so k, this was the dimension of the eigenspace associated to, well, sorry, k is the dimension of the eigenspace associated to, yeah, the eigenspace associated to a. And what we found is that this is less than or equal to the multiplicity of lambda as a root of the characteristic polynomial of b. But remember, the characteristic polynomial of b is the same as the characteristic polynomial of a. Okay? So uh, this shows us that the dimension of this eigenspace can be no larger than the mul multiplicity of lambda as a root of this polynomial. And that's something that we didn't know before. Uh, so the, the multiplicity of lambda as a, as a root of the characteristic polynomial, this is called the algebraic algebraic multiplicity of lambda. And the dimension of the eigenspace associated to lambda, this is called the geometric multiplicity of lambda. Okay, So what we've shown is that the algebraic multiplicity is greater than or equal to the geometric multiplicity. 